Welcome back to Jesters of Ravenloft, where a group of comedians try to escape the horrors of the mists. With the rest of the troop having safely surrendered, Shadow Nemesis was chased by cockatrices and immediately pecked to death. New Rogue was too depleted to revive him, and Tyler was convinced by Ezra to wait and see if the day reset again. So when Del tried to summon Werner, the ghost of Shadow Nemesis joined them instead. Del packed up his body and gear into a portable hole, and they all decided to do some reconnaissance at the battle. But New Rogue tried to deceive Hardin to obtain a cockatrice and was distraught when Rumble Foreskin compared him to Shadow Nemesis. Will what change ever be honest with the people of this realm? I doubt it. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Gestures of Ravenloft. We've recorded our first episode for the evening, but that means it's time for our second episode of the Whoa. evening. I'll do a quick recap of what went down for everybody waiting at home. Uh, in case you missed the last one, Shadow Nemesis was brutally murdered by cockatrices. Then they tried to revive him and couldn't because they were out of spell slots. Del summoned him as a ghost. The party decided to move forwards. Tyler checked in with Ezra, God of the Mists, who he could talk with and realized that things are complicated here, but a Groundhog Day is a possibility. Shadow Nemesis was re resummoned by Del. He's going to get like blood drips on an invisible person of a ghost when Del wishes, but she can make that stop when she wants. New Rogue tried to get Westra, his cockatrice, from the blacksmithy uh, and was unable to negotiate. And then he attempted to steal it and it didn't quite work because it wasn't a fully planned out scheme. And Jack Magnum pooped on the blacksmith's desk and then they left. So they have met outside of town and are trying to, to plan how to get to this big battle so they can watch and see what is happening to try to catch up on what is going on in this realm. <laughs> That's where we left things off. Mm. All righty. Adam the All beef right, it's time for us to return. The beef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, all right. To Ravenloft. <laughs> you find yourself, new rogue, having a brief moment of an exist of an existential crisis, because how different are you from Shadow Nemesis? And that's when the mist rises up around all of you. You've had these oh. occur moments occur. You've had these moments occur over your travels where the mist has provided you with things that are both convenient, helpful, and safety increasing. And as the mists pop up, rather than forming a path, they form a wall, almost closing you in where all you can see is mist until they lower down again and disappear. In front of you, on the ground, you see the doctor deputy's body that you had forgotten to collect and put in a hole. <laughs> you also see Shadow Nemesis's oh rapier oh, sweet. and shield that you had not collected from inside town, which would have been otherwise they transposed within oh. this realm. Wow. Oh, that's great. And perhaps the most meaningful of all, in front of you, you see two cockatrices standing with saddles on their backs prepared. One that you recognize, <laughs> Del, uh, for, for a brief one, a shadow nemesis, as Jackson Triggs, the cowardly... Wow. Uh, the cowardly cockatrice that had been ridden by Dr. Deputy that you know was relatively easy to control. And the other, Westra Amber Eyes, looks up at you, New Rogue. With warmth and care in her eyes. <gasps> Westra, baby. Thank you, Mists. Thank you. Uh, how are you, girl? Do you remember me? And Westra looks at you, and there is a strange moment of connection. The same connection that you had before. Reforging the instant bond that the two of you had. And Westra bows to you and lowers a wing to allow Jack Magnum to climb up onto Westra's back and ride. Oh, I unlatch Jack Magnum and let him scamper up the wing. There you go, little guy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, yes, you got there first. Um, thank you, m'lady. May I have this ride? <laughs> <laughs> this is Wester Tyler. Get used to it. And then <laughs> get on top. Oh, all right. Saddle I, myself in. I guess it is sort of important then. I'm going to take... The watchers in the mist want this. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take a... 
<laughs> Shadow Nemesis' bag of holding and put all of the weapons and the Dr. Deputy body in it. Great. The body you in the bag of holding? Up. Yeah. No, put it in the hole. It's going to make the bag all weird. You just shove the body in a bag? <laughs> <laughs> What Your body's in the other one. Well, you could probably fit another body in the hole. You, What's just, the difference? I will point out yes. to you, Dell. you can just mute Shadow Nemesis and then no one can hear him anymore. I know, but I still have to hear him when he's out and bloody. That's true. <laughs> um. Hey, Adam, Shadow, uh, Shadow Nemesis. Um, hey, Shadow Nemesis, yes. Okay. Um. Do you think it's okay if if Tyler rides Jackson Triggs? Now, I know that was specifically for Dr. Deputy, but since Dr. Deputy's dead, he, it's it's cool that Tyler uses, right? I mean, maybe if it was Deathstalker, I'd have a problem, but Jackson Triggs was uh, kind of dumb. So, yeah, sure, you can have him. These are, these are the names of cockatrices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the last time yeah. I threw that at somebody and Jackson Triggs blew up and took two people out with him. <laughs> oh, oh, what? that was fun. Fucking birds explode as well? Are you telling oh, me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, hey, I don't know what happened. I just threw him real hard and then took out two gnomes and he just went like splat. So he's a little fragile. Tyler, I think you should try to win over Jackson Triggs, though, because looks like a little scaredy cat but you know if you win him over there's a chance he might not peck you and turn you to stone okay well i don't i don't want i don't want to try then i don't like go 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 home or whatever you want to do i don't want uh, to be petrified tyler maybe maybe this will help like if you uh talk to the bird and then make you know like snake noises like his stuff yeah like that's it and i cast the ghost story on tyler <laughs> 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 so what does making a snake sound mechanically do for Tyler, Dell? Yeah. For the next 10 minutes, and uh, whenever Tyler makes an intelligence, wisdom, or charisma check, he automatically adds a d6 to them. Ooh. Okay. I'm looking at you like, are you fucking with me right now? No, just do it. I <laughs> say going over to Rumpel Foreskin. I'm so over all of this. Oh my God. Yeah, no. You get to ride your best friend. Hi, fucking Jackson Triggs. <laughs> Hiss, I say. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you approach, can you roll me an animal handling check with advantage? And you get to add a d6. Okay. Eight. 19 plus a d6. Five for 24 plus two from animal handling for 26. Wow. <laughs> Hiss. With a 26, you 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 hiss and you see Jackson Triggs flinch. To paint the picture for you, Tyler, as you have not had yeah, these things no. explicitly described to you, this is a velociraptor meets an ostrich right in the middle of just kind of dinosaur-like. It can carry weight. It's got big wings with bladed, like almost hook talons on the end, talons with the stabbing claws of the feet. There are some feathers, but it's also draconic and kind of strange. But Jackson Triggs looks at you and then nods a little bit, just sinuously, and then crouches down to allow you to climb on. All right. I mean, like when it flinches, I flinch. Like I, this thing is can kill me. Uh, but if it lowers itself the way I watched um, uh, uh, Westra uh, lower down for New Rogue and Jack Magnum to to mount up, I will. I'll try and swing a leg over and and, and ride the. the and you course. climb on with no problem. With your roll being that high, you get the feeling as you look at these two cockatrices with the way the feathers on their heads kind of stab up and out. They may believe that your horns are similar to their feathers and your horns are bigger than their feather displays are. So you may be kind of a dominant member of the pack if you hiss towards them in future cockatrices may may submit to your will <laughs> okay we'll file that away for weird weird trivia of this place and these <laughs> birds uh and i'll say all right well you y'all ready to go you... yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, I got what i want 
Okay. Well, Shadow Nemesis, I'll call you back when we get there. Can I just... Oh, wait, can wait, I wait, just... Wait, no. on, just <laughs> 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 and you are gone again, Shadow Nemesis. Uh, no. Forced, as this party takes off towards the hills, moving... I mean, faster than any person could, you are forced to supernaturally sprint in the grayscale blurry realm, desperately trying to keep Dell's torch of the one solid thing you can see somewhere within sight. No, oh, come on, get! <laughs> yep, the weird thing is you do still run out of breath and you do still get exhausted, but it's possible for you to push yourself harder than you expected. Can you roll me a constitution saving throw using your stats? Constitution, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he has to run. Uh, oh boy, that's a total of five. <laughs> total of five. Wow. You are desperately trying to keep up, but you find yourself hitting your physical limits and just having to slow down. You can't push through the agony of continuing to run. So you start to see them go further and further into the distance. <laughs> just, can there. I? Can I try to talk to Shadow Master? Is he there sure. with me? You are uh, in you, this. You are in this grayscale blur realm of being a ghost. What do you want to do? Can you believe this, Shadow Master? I say. There is no response. <gasps> Shadow Master. Hello. <laughs> Nothing. Doctor. <gasps> Doctor Deputy. Um. Ezra. Well, go no fuck way. yourself then. Fine, I'll find my own way. <laughs> and you hear a whisper of a voice on the wind. It says, "Poetic justice." Oh, go back to the Mandalorian, you friggin' old bet. <laughs> See you soon. Well, what? Okay, well you can talk to me now if you want. <laughs> there is no response. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't like you in The Mandalorian. Anyway, you were in like two episodes and I was unimpressed. Now, <laughs> off we go, me. <laughs> <laughs> you keep slowly trudging exhaustedly into the distance by yourself in the ghost realm. The rest of you are riding your way forward. It takes about two, three hours on cockatrice ride slash horseback for you to be able to make this journey. Are there any discussions you would want to have on your way to the hill and to these kind of woods as you begin to... You've got a long stretch before you get there and then getting close, but there's plenty of time to talk. Is there anything you talk about or is this just riding as hard and as fast as you can? Or what is this like? I'm just kind of giving the silent treatment to uh rumple foreskin. <laughs> I'm just kind of a little annoyed. So I, cause I'm like, I let him in, you know, and absolve <laughs> myself multiple times. And then he said something that was very hurtful. Oh. So I'm just trying to like, piece it together and be like no i'm not i'm not like shadow nemesis that's not no no mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so i'm trying to like i want to talk with the two of them but i don't want to like turn and look oh, hey, in girl. the eyes of uh so are you <laughs> leading the group trying to hold all of yeah your i'll just i'll just go i'll just go yeah so like Tra -la -la, tra -la 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 -la, trying to really put it on. <laughs> so happy, I'm happy. Da -da 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 -da, got everything I want. -la -la -da. <laughs> it's a three person flying V as you go along with you at the head mm -hmm. singing tra la la. Can you roll me a constitution saving throw? I want to know how long you can keep up this singing I'm chipper act. Oh, man. Okay, well. Um, my constitution is two. Oh, what? Yeah, uh, that's an eight. <laughs> an eight. Okay. So the journey begins. New Rogue is singing tra la la. He's got everything he's ever wanted. Dell and Tyler, you are slightly behind New Rogue. Dell riding Rumpel Foreskin. Tyler, you are riding Jackson Triggs. You also have Ivan uh, sitting comfortably on one of your horns. Is mm -hmm. there anything you would want to discuss or say to each other during this trek, or are you just listening to New Rogue sing a chipper song? No, uh, I feel a little better now that there's no Shadow Nemesis in my ear and I'm hanging out with Rumble Foreskin, so calm down a little bit. Then, Tyler, uh, how, how are you hanging in there? Um, I 
think with this ride being as lengthy as it is, it's there's enough time for me to kind of loosen up a little bit where everyone else had had this kind of day that they came back from after dying. And I basically watched something horrifying happen uh, and then joined them and was kind of just with them. We went to a village and then they tried to kill and did kill um, Shadow Nemesis, a.k.a. my friend Adam, <laughs> um, <laughs> who, yes. again, from my perspective, maybe an hour prior shot my other friend guy bradford in the back like just a <laughs> lot of so i think the ride has given me enough time if uh if you had asked me earlier i would have been like yep i'm fine whatever but uh yeah i think i, I would kind of there'd be a pause and i would just say not not great dell not good no yeah i'm not doing good yeah i know that the where we left things with guy bradford was pretty rough yeah and now it sounds like it wasn't even real. If what Ezra told me is to be believed, that was just some magic bullshit that I fell for completely. And I'm still feeling like it was real. Yeah. I mean, everything seems really real. There's, it's hard to really tell. Uh, I'm, how are you, how, how are you doing? I can't, sorry. How, how are you doing? No, no. I mean, I'm, Considering everything okay, which maybe is a little weird. Uh, um, it seems like you're. It seems like you're doing really good. I mean, I've. It helps to keep well, focused on everybody else. But uh, when we got in, I got a text message from Laura. What? Yeah. Every time. Well, now and then. Every my time phone, you go through. It, it's sort of yeah, like it's jitters to life. But I couldn't get any messages out. She, no, I remember you got a text from Ryan last time we crossed. Yeah. But what did Laura say? She ugh, she seemed really upset and said, I haven't talked to her or Ryan in a year. It's been a year? <sighs> yeah. It's... Oh man, I Del, I'm I'm really sorry. Well, I'm uh, sorry too. I know nobody, you know, it's kind of fucked up to think that. You know, we went overseas and then disappeared. Yeah, the year of our lives. Wow, whatever, um, whatever our lives are anymore. But I, yeah, I think that's where I'm at. Where it's just like, stay focused on what we can do, and you know, take positive things where we can. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take the positives. Yeah, you got it. I mean, you, you can do magic and stuff. That's kind of neat. Uh, yeah, yeah. An old man beat this magic into me. Uh, oh, yeah, but that old man's gone. That's true, I guess. I thanked him. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems more like um, losing things than taking things. Uh why, look at look in front of you. That's not Guy Bradford anymore. Cha la 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 la. <laughs> we've we've lost Adam in multiple ways now. Maybe. Right. You, what you, um. I haven't lost you, Tyler. If I can be honest, I feel like I might be losing you a bit. With oh. the. Lucretia thing and I even um Rumple here. Hey Rumple. Uh hey. Just hearing you two talk about, you know, maybe running off to go meet Rumple's kin and stuff like that. And I mean you're invited for that part. We just don't know what the end game is for any of this because it's like kind of weird. I kind of yeah. thought the end game was we go home, but now I don't know how much anyone else wants that anymore. Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess I haven't really said it out loud, but the whole Ezra and going home and all that stuff, you think we're all going to be normal after this? I I hope. I hope we wake up and it's been a bad dream. Maybe. Or maybe 
we've lost multiple years and all of our relationships that we've ever had have crumbled because we disappeared off the face of the earth. And oh my God, I can't, I can't think about that. Uh, it's gotta be a bad dream, right? Like this has to, like, we're all dark Lords and this is our nightmare, right? Maybe. And I guess that just means that all we have is exactly what's going on right now. And um, if that's the case, I, I'm riding a bird. <clears throat> You're riding a bird? It's like yeah. a dinosaur bird. It is like a die, and I, when I was a kid, I really liked dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Dinosaur <sighs> bird. Please don't, please don't make this fun for me. I, dinosaur like, bird. I my brain is going to break bird. if you make this. Oh my God. You're riding a dinosaur bird. You dinosaur can do magic. Dinosaur bird. Dinosaur bird. Yeah. I, can, uh, I feel, I feel stronger. Um, everyone seems stronger. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do anything back in that village. It felt like the wrong time to go, you know, popping off on a village full of old gnomes or whatever they are. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll show you some magic if we do have the chance to fight someone who actually deserves to die or something. Yeah. Show me That's magic, not super cool. Tyler. I just, I, I, for, for those of you in the audio format, I rolled my eyes and that is in character. Just like, I can't, <laughs> I cannot be on the receiving end of this much positivity. Like it just, my brain is not wired to receive that in a good way. <laughs> just hey, like guys, can we stop for a second? Jack, Jack Magnum has to whittle. He took a big poop, but he didn't get to whittle. So I guess it's been whittle? doing stuff to his bladder. So can we stop real quick? Yeah, uh, sure, sure, like, sure. If I can stop, <laughs> I try to stop Jackson. <laughs> and you do. Okay. So a goat <laughs> can whittle. We'll take a quick commercial break right there. <laughs> Jack Magnum goes pee, and you all mount up again and make your way towards the hill. Now, New Rogue, you had been trying to stay chipper. Mm -hmm. Just leaning into singing your song, convincing mm -hmm. everybody everything was okay. And that's mm -hmm. pretty easy to do for 10 minutes. And it's pretty hard to do for one hour. <laughs> and you just can't do it anymore. You're too tired after two hours. So what are you doing at the head of this convoy now that you don't have the ability to pretend everything is great? Also, how has your emotion shifted sitting in it for two hours? Because that's also could be a big change. That no, no. Be a big game changer. Yeah, it's it's it has been a big game changer. I still feel iffy about um, Rumpel Foreskin a bit. I don't know, like uh, he revealed a flaw in me that I didn't know about myself, and I'm still uh, the wind has been good blowing through my hair. Two beautiful animals, so I'm feeling better. But it's something I don't want to actually put that much attention towards right now or i don't want to focus on it so i'm kind of throwing the back of my mind and just just rolling with my prayers practicing those powerful pee popping prayers you know like the please ezra baby i hope you can hear me but please please our friends we love them so much baby please thank you okay so that's all i'm doing that's my mantra baby and prayer helps you stay centered as your journey continues. Meanwhile, in the ghost zone, Shadow Nemesis, Ooh. you have been trudging onwards in a yeah. black and white, blurry, smeared, grayscale space by yourself as Dell gets further and further into the distance. No one has been responding to you since the the last time Werner speak the last time Werner spoke to you some time ago. Are you talking to yourself as you journey? What are you thinking? What is it like to be a ghost as Shadow Nemesis? Um, I'm, well, I, I kind of realized this, but I was like, well, I'm out of breath, but I don't need to breathe. So I just, I'm just like, why am I out of breath if I don't need to breathe? I, I can just, ugh. anyway. Yeah, I think I'm just kind of like uh, you, talking to myself. Having experimented with that, what you realize is uh, you are used to having to breathe. 
you were used uh. to those other things. That was the failed con check before, where you can keep pushing your limits because you are a ghost now, but the discomfort of pushing those limits remains. Your body still gets tired. You can uh. just literally run to the point where your heart would give out, and it won't give out if you keep running. It turns out there's like a skill set to being a ghost, and you are like a level one ghost. No. Oh. Man, this place sucks. No, I don't even have legs. I just have that weird, like, spermy thing. It's so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> of all, of all the things to say. Uh, <laughs> Please make a note, everyone. When you see Shadow Nemesis appear in real life, he's Shadow Nemesis yeah. from the waist up, and from the waist down, he is Casper, yeah. the friendly ghost. Or <laughs> Thank or you. Yeah. Like I just like, I just like the visual of just like. An excessively gyrating, like, yeah, bottom half. Yeah, yeah. Little nuts. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's how I float. The, the one lone winding hair sticking out the bottom of a flicker around. No, we're sticking with Casper or the genie. Uh, I'll do Casper. There we go. Great. Great. We've accomplished so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Back to reality. That was our time in the ghost zone. Fun time. No regrets there for any of us. Oh, hey, whoa. <laughs> Why am I so out of breath? Why are my legs like Casper's cum? <laughs> What's going or on? Or CC here? for short. <laughs> no idea why they away. Okay, so uh, the two cockatrices and Rumpel Forskin, your, your live party, you find yourselves reaching the bottom of this massive hill meets mountain. It is a hill in the sense that you can ride up it. It is a mountain in the sense that it is very high up as you go. Uh, and there is no obvious road from the position where you are now to the way up. You could ride around this space if you wanted to try to find paths up that could be taken by other people. But the central road, it's dirt road, leads you right up to the edge of these woods. And then it goes left and right, kind of circling around the hill and into the distance. Do you want to advance into these woods as you are making your way up? Would you want to go further around to see if you can find paths up? What would you want to do when you reach this T junction? Uh, what's the weather like right now? Like, is it uh, like what's the temperature? Would you say? Because if it's hot, we've been going a while. Might be good to get a little bit of shade, especially for the boids, you know, that we're riding. But <laughs> the boids. It's a bright, sunny day. There is a breeze, so it's kind of a dry heat. You're not seeing any lakes or anything in the area that would push the humidity up. So you got a little bit of sweat on you, but you're not. It's not one of those, you know, Ontario brutally hot, high <laughs> humidity days. It's a California heat. You know, it's a little more manageable, but it's there. You would have the opportunity now if you wanted to take it to rest under the trees. You could take a short rest if you wanted to do that. Yeah. Entirely up to you. You can take a long rest if you want. There's no one here right now. You have horses and are riding around. Um, I would very much like a, a short rest. Like we we burned about two hours so far, and I figure if we do another two hours, oh wait, that's not how it works for me. I oh no, it wouldn't for me because uh, yeah 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 okay. Uh, do you think we Are have you trying to time? figure out how to do a long rest to get your spell slots back? Because yeah, for me though, I can do that in like four hours, but I have to remain perfectly still. So great. You can make that pitch if you want to just go chill in the shade for four hours. It's possible. What? Uh, okay, I'm going to bring this to the crew. Uh, folks, um, just because I don't know what we're going towards, what we're going into, um, uh, I think I would do a lot better for everybody if I was able to possibly revivify, uh, revivify people if things go south. Do you think we have, or I have four hours to just like burn um would that be something you guys could work with or I look to Dell and I do like kind of a shrug of like that that sounds pretty smart to me. I don't I don't yeah either of you two made it out this far before? Yeah, no. I mean we don't know anything that's going on. So if we wanna take do like tiny camp here and wait and okay. kind of scout it out, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, what do you need to do to to rest um, new life? I just kind of trance out so it's like my prayer happy place so honestly you don't have to do much of anything but i'm just gonna plunk my butt down uh maybe just watch after uh jack magnum and maybe also westra oh oh oh! here i have some um what is i have half a eaten sun fruit um maybe you could uh well i'll give some of this to jack magnum now and um uh somebody else feed pieces to westra when when she wants some I don't want to do it right now. That should be a treat. Okay. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Do you want to like? Do you want to trance out under the trees in the shade, or do you want to do it right here by the road? I think I'll do it in the shade. Thank you very much. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thank- yeah, it is cool. <laughs> it is cool. Oh, you seem Thank- you seem tense right now. Is something wrong? Do is there some? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Anyways, if um, Dell or or Tyler uh, again, maybe just like after about three hours before I, you know, maybe just give the rest of this fruit to uh, to Westra. You know what? I'm because I, I got a spare one, and I, I'm going to give that to her afterwards. But uh, you know, just like a, a little a little bit of something before she gets the whole piece from from me. You know, so it builds more of a bond, and sure. she gets something from you, right? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Do they do they eat sunfruit? I don't know. Oh, okay, new rogue sounds good. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. To the tree I go, and then I have a nice I rest. rest. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I just walk off. <laughs> All right. All right. So he's being weird. Uh, do you guys want to rest, or what do you guys want to do? I I guess we should rest for a bit, you know. Someone should probably stay with him if he's going to go catatonic or whatever, but maybe we can have a little look around too. Yeah, yeah, maybe take a little look around, see if we can find anything, but stay close by. Yeah, or stay on All like right, the man, you guys, or You guys want me to go do a wander? I'm kind of sneaky. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I always think of you as in bat form doing that, but if you're okay to toddle off in your little doll legs, go go for it. Oh yeah, man! This thing could be so fast because it's like no no vascular system, so it just, it just goes. It's magic wood. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, here I'll I'll help you down, and I just bring my hand up to my head so that I can <laughs> oh, place down on the ground. That's, that's so nice. You're so caring. All right, I'm gonna go do. Uh, I'm gonna go check this shit out. You guys have a good rest. Goodbye. And he just zoom, just starts sprinting into the distance. He realizes he can move as fast as a person moving at full sprint. Wow. Jesus. Just takes off. All right. Uh, I'll try to summon Shadow Nemesis back with the ghost blood. You do that. Shadow Nemesis, you find yourself trudging along, practicing Ugh. exhaustion, when all of a sudden it is as though you are grabbed and pulled immediately to beside Dell and snap back into your black and white version of reality as the blood, mm-hmm. blood floats around you. Hey, where the heck did you go? Hey, Shadow Nemesis, we're on, we're on the hill, like we said. Do you want to... Uh, kind of look around here and scout around, see if you can find anything since nobody can oh. kill you. You being oh. a dead ghost. So you yeah. want me to do stuff for you, huh? All right, well, I want a deal. You don't blast me back to that boring place, and then I'll look and see what's nearby. You want you want to be a, a bunch of ghost blood walking around? Yeah. Well, I'm just better than being in that weirdo void. Werner walking around saying, like, I see you soon, or whatever the hell he's saying. Yeah. Sorry, say that again. Could you do? Could I hear that impression one more time? No. Oh, well, Werner Herzog was see you soon. Right. Yeah. Which I don't know. He can just talk to me. I guess he's trying yeah. to be all cryptic. Yeah. I don't know. I just ignore him for the most part. Why do you? Th- why do you think he would be kind of like hassling you in the afterlife as a ghost to another ghost? Why do you think that would be? Hmm. I don't know. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> no. No reason that comes to mind. Shadow Nemesis. Maybe he regrets saving me. Wow. It's really oh, deep. Really... Yeah. Yeah, you believe that saving thing. I thought that was like a bit for other people. Hmm? No, he jumped in front of me. You saw him. We were all there. Wait a minute. You, you were... weren't there. Were, were you there, Rumble Force? Again? I forgot. No, no I, wasn't, I wasn't there in that place. But like people keep me in the loop on things. They're like, they, no, all right. I, I don't want this to go to your head, but like we talk about you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, you're like you're like a pretty central focus of conversation for, for us like... when we're on the road and oh, really? yeah. when you're not around. We talk well, about you. We worry about yeah, you. Yeah, we worry yeah. about you. Well, you're worried about me. Well, don't worry. I yeah. take care of myself. You're, you're dead. a ghost again right because yeah, you died. Dead. <laughs> you died. You are dead. You died. Yeah, well, and I wonder all the way that dead. is. Your body is in a hole around her neck right now. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you fought a battle to the death when everyone kept telling you to surrender and trying to help you surrender and then magically trying to make you surrender. And then you refused to surrender and they could have got you out of there and then you didn't do that either. And then you were pecked to death. 
Yeah, yeah, thanks, Rumble Force. And I was there, I saw it. See, you say that, but you mm-hmm. were also there when Werner Herzog died. And mm-hmm. you seem to remember him leaping in front of you to absorb some kind of blow. You yeah. grabbed him. You grabbed that old, old man. Oh, my God. You want me to do reconnaissance or what? I don't want to talk about this old guy anymore, okay? Just don't yep. send me back to the Ooh, boring do it. All right, what, where do you want I don't to know go? how I don't far know I the blood will go, so maybe you might end up walking out of it. I don't know. I've never... Well, Pick a direction, man. We came yeah, from there, go. so not that way. What? We, that's where town is. Yes, well, where are so we going? You don't want me telling me anything. We're looking for some kind of big pivotal battle that's supposed to happen tonight. Yep. Or at dusk or later in the day. I don't know when. All right, so what? Look for like... A army guys. Of, uh, yeah. Army guys. Right. <laughs> yeah, like a like a way to the battle. Like you can go left or right and see if there's a path or something. Because yeah, right now direction. it's just woods and a really steep hill. Ugh. There's whatever. I don't know. Like war cockatrices. I'm assuming they don't ride horses into battle here. So mm-hmm. all right, but I want your promise. You don't send me back to that boring world, okay? I like seeing things. Sure. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> well, oh, whatever. Nemesis, I need... You don't have a choice. <laughs> Fine. I'll go and I'll report what I see. Like a good Thank ghost. you. Thank you. Hope to have your body back tomorrow or earlier today or however that works. And my stuff. And my stuff. Put my stuff next to me. We've got your stuff. <laughs> We've got all your stuff. All right. I'm going to go. Thanks. Later, Bye. blood bags. Bye. <laughs> so I learned <laughs> Del. <laughs> Hell yeah. No rest. You get to go rest alongside Rumple Foreskin, slightly away from where New Rogue is trancing out as Ivan oh. and the Ghost of Shadow Nemesis begin their scouting mission. We'll take a quick commercial break right there. Oh, man. Oh, with Ivan. Shadow Nemesis, you have been told to scout this area, but where do you go, and what is your plan for scouting this area? So, is Ivan with me? No, you don't no, know. Oh, you okay. didn't get some until Ivan had already ran off into the distance, so you don't even oh. know Ivan is also scouting, I don't think. Oh, okay. All right. Well, if I were an <laughs> army, I would go to where the flattest land was. Which would be down, because we're on a hill. So I'm going to go down and to the left, I say to myself. Okay, so I'm going to paint a clear picture for you, because this actually matches the topography. I just want to be sure that that's what you're thinking. So to your left, if you're looking up at the hill, there is a dirt road that leads down into a valley. Or there is a path that you can see in the distance that curves around uh, the the kind of mountain and hill uh, to Mm. that way. Or to the right... There is the flat space in between the two large hills that leads into the woods. You could follow a path kind of through that center and circle around this mountain that way. I'm going to trust my gut because if you're two arm, if these two armies were just like, that's it, we're going to just fight on flat land, then they would need to go down and have like a nice mm-hmm. little area that they can fight. So I'm going to go to the left and go down. Great. You are going to scout the valley. So you turn left and you begin tromping away from your friends as they make their way to rest inside the woods. You crest the hill and begin to make your way down as you feel the blood on you begin to dry a little bit. And that's when the mist swirls up around you. Can you roll me a D6? No. Oh, no. I'm going to get all crusty and fall apart. getting flaky. getting getting flaky. A ghost eczema. Ooh, four. Oh, You feel the mist reinvigorate the blood that is keeping you inside this space. So you step outside of the sphere of where Dell's influence would normally end and can continue your scouting mission. So you cross over the crest of this hill and look down into a valley. There is mist crawling over the ground. There are dead trees. At the center of this massive valley is an edifice made of black stone crumbling. It is clearly a church of some kind. Can you roll me a perception? Perception. All right. Well, I don't even need to look. That's zero. All right. <laughs> uh I'm, I guess I'm so impressed at how 
cool everything looks. I don't know. I'm not actually focusing on one thing because I rolled a three. Okay. What you see is that there is this cool collapsing structure in the center. Ooh. There is enough mist and enough shadow that you can't entirely be sure what is there. You would have to continue down into the valley to scout things out to get closer to find any answers. All right, well, I'm going to be like, I'm going to check out that spooky church, and then I'm going to go towards it. And you begin going towards it. Just a second. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know we were going here. Um, <laughs> Yay! <what? laughs> I stomp with my, like, little spermy legs. <laughs> or it's more like a pogo stick, I guess, because there's only one. Oh, I thought it was, like, sperm spurs. Spurs. Oh my god. <laughs> Sperms. I hate all of this. Spurs. 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 Oh. Spurs. You begin making your way through like down the hill and through these menacing thickets of gnarled dead black mm. trees with the mist surrounding you. You can hear howls in the distance. Just Listen. haunting, inhuman, like a like a human scream blended together coming out of the throat of a large wolf. It is an animalistic, tortured sound. And there are flitting. You can see almost bat wings through the mist around you until you approach what is clearly as you step through this last stretch of the mist down this road towards this large collapsed building. You see a devastated ancient church or monastery. You're not entirely sure that is collapsed inwards. It Within it, you can only see shadows and menace. You can tell that this was once hallowed ground that has fallen to something indeed terrible. Hmm. What do you do? I should remember this when I become human again. This could be a good chateau nemesis. Hmm. Super fun. Um, I kind of, like, it's, it's, is it, uh, are, are the bones good, more or less? Like, the building is structurally sound. I'm not going to, like, walk in and, uh, roof is going to shatter my my blood body you look at it and it seems like it has been collapsing over time but it doesn't seem like you know it's one stiff breeze away from going down now you wouldn't trust it in an earthquake but mm. outside of that you think it looks like it's found some version of stability in its own world as a ghost can i i know i'm like hovering a bit which is kind of ironic because this is what I wanted all those, all, like all, all those things ago that I can just hover a bit. Um, is there a window that I can look through? Like I mean, upper floor, like lower floor, something like that. Uh, you can absolutely move around. If you want to try to like fly up, uh, I am going to need you to roll me an arcana at disadvantage oh. because you are a yeah. new ghost, not an experienced ghost. Oh, oh all right. If it turns out Adam wants to stay dead, this will be great. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus. No, I, I mean, just like... this way. Um, that's a total of 11. A total of 11. You try with all your might to get any amount of vertical lift, and you cannot. You find Ooh. you are stuck at ground level. Perhaps the limitations are your own, or perhaps no ghost can fly. You can't know for sure because you don't have anything to compare to. Hmm. And that is so. So your options are to circle around the outside of this building to see if there are other gaps you can look in or windows or to enter it. Uh, I am going to uh, look for a window to look in. Great. Can you roll me a stealth with advantage? Ooh, all right. Well, that's good. What's my stealth? All right, plus one. Uh, nat 20. I'm a, literally a ghost. <laughs> you are literally a ghost made of small amounts of blood that are hidden in shadows as you begin searching. Can you roll me a perception? I will. Uh, do you know what? No, a nat 20, you're just going to see shit because that's just Sweet. what you got in you. Uh, nice. As you begin searching looking through the gaps in this building there are a few places where windows have broken that you're able to climb up to and look in peer into the darkness and with your ghost sight see a little bit more than you might have been able to see as a mortal you can see there is movement within this place oh. there is a movement but combining with your ghost vision you can see that within this movement it does not have the same soul flicker that you had seen in tyler 
or in New Rogue or in the other living beings that you had seen from a distance. There is something off about this. The movement is there. The physicality is there. But one might say the soul flame or the ghost fire is not. Hmm. So a moving creature that in my eye is soulless. Moving creatures, yes, of various creatures. Styles. You can see there are some that are flitting about that seem to be higher up in the building that you get mm. very brief glances of. And then there are slower moving, flatter kind of creatures around. You, you can't get a great view from outside the building. Hmm. Well, my go-to would be that I, okay, so Shadow Nemesis is talking to himself. And he's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> didn't I read, like, a Ghostbusters comic one time when Ghostbusters fought zombies? And the whole thing was that, like, zombies didn't have souls, according to the Ghostbusters. If they don't have souls, maybe this is just a house full of zombies. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Can you roll me a stealth at disadvantage? ruh -roh. <laughs> And you get the window to a haunted monastery having a talk with yourself that everyone can hear because Dell didn't turn that off. Yep. But I'm whispering. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the best whisper is a Batman whisper. Yep. Well, uh, <laughs> I get really excited when I talk about Ghostbusters and I'm like, oh, oh, that was this great comic series. Uh, it was this weird crossover that, that IDW did. That, that, it was okay. I rolled in that one. <laughs> yep. And you, you are having that comic book conversation. And that is when you see a brilliant light slam into being beside you. That's almost blinding and it hammers down and smashes Dell's magic off of you. And you find yourself back fully in the ghost realm, My unable God. to see anything around you as the light diminishes and disappears next to you. Ooh, damn. What the hell is that? All right. Um, I better report what I saw. So I'm going <laughs> to go back where I came from. Yep. And you do have the ability to do that because you can see the bright torch that is Dell in the distance. No, but it's Del. interesting to you because there is another torch you can see in the distance from this angle. Further oh. up on the hill. A, dis a ways away. Another, another kind of massive tier above where your friends currently are. Really? Can mm -hmm. I go check that out? Do you want to roll me a wisdom saving throw? Wisdom? Oh, zero, Adam. All right. <laughs> uh, that's 18. Damn. 18. You realize that you could go check it out, but Dell, as the only other torch that you've seen, has a lot of ability to control you. Do you want to approach a random other person who might be able to control you? Well, that is a pretty good wisdom save. Like, hmm. <laughs> well, if I go to Dell, Dell would be a jerk to me, but this person could be an even bigger jerk to me. Hmm. Eh, don't go anywhere, I say to the light in the distance, and I go back to Dell. And you go back to Dell, so you begin to make your way back there. Dell and Tyler, what do you do while this rest is happening? I actually, do you know what I should ask first? New Rogue. What is a trance like for you that you do for four hours? What physical position are you in? Are you making sounds? What are you thinking about? What recharges mm -hmm. your batteries? Uh, so it depends. Sometimes I am just sitting like cross-legged on the floor on my buns. Uh, other times I am just like sitting kind of like in the, in the, in the prayer position. Um, this time, though, it is, it is um, with my uh, legs crossed. Hands slumped to my side. I'm kind of sitting semi-relaxed, but also my back's kind of a little bit rigid with my head sticking out a little bit, um, kind of like a giant ski slope is my back. Um, and for this one, I'm just, I just mumble to myself, just like, uh, blah, blah, blah. but what I'm in, what I'm really saying is just in my brain is, is, is just me like, uh, you know, just giving all the prayers to all the things I, I, I love and all the things I uh, hope to remain safe. That's very nice. So that is what is happening next to you. Tyler and Dell, you have sent people off to scout. 
New Rogue is resting. You've been told to feed Sunfruit to Jack Magnum and Jackson Triggs. Or no, to Jack Magnum and Westra. No one was worried about feeding Jackson Triggs. (laughs) (laughs) How are you relaxing? I'm imagining this is a short rest for both of you as well in terms of spell slots, healing. I would mechanically take, take a short rest, yeah. Uh, I'm actually not going to take the short rest. I have things I want to do. Uh, Amazing. What do you want to do? One of the things that I want to do, uh, really quickly, while Tyler is there chilling, uh, under the tree, I really quickly pull out my paint set and draw, uh, really quickly, and I make a little paper journal and a pen. And then I walk over to Tyler and I just sort of tap him on the shoulder with this journal. Uh, hey, what's, uh, what's this? Uh, I made you this, and I give him the journal, and I give him the pen. You know, like, if you're oh. feeling kind of all alone, and, like, you, you lost all of us, I mean, maybe be a, you know, this could be your friend, you know, if you don't feel comfortable talking to us. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I was, uh, like... I do feel that way, but I could have said it better. And you're the only person who asked me how I'm doing. I don't want to push you away or anything like that. I appreciate you asking. And this is great. This is lovely. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. It feels like I don't talk to anyone about anything. It is just how I am. Thank you. I will use this. And again, I'm like, if you and Lucretia and Rumple want to do whatever, that like, that's great. And that is your choice because you are Dell. Mm -hmm. And it's different for New Rogue and for Shadow Nemesis, I think, because it feels like they're just not the people that I know. But I know you, you are you, and if that's something you want to do, that's that's great, and I support that. Uh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. And, I mean, I hurt my feelings a little bit, but, you know, I realize this place is kind of changing all of us, and I just don't want you to feel unsafe, and, you know, if I get too far gone or whatever... I I want you to be okay. Okay. Uh, if I see you going like, you know, either of those two, I'm I'm going to try and stop it. Okay. Is that reassuring or a threat to you in, in your <laughs> no. ears? How do you how are you receiving that? Cuz I now want I, it to be good for you. I grab you with Tyler's that, hand and I shake up like <laughs> deal. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you for this. I, I'll Hey guys, hey, is, it, is it cool hey. if I kind of join you over here? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So yes. we've we've kind of got this like like chai tea for for everybody. If you guys want to share, because Dell Dell had me hang on to it, and I thought oh, yeah. it could be a nice thing for all of us. But I realized like I've kind of talked a little bit about my my herd, and we've all kind of explored some of the Ravenloft together. But like Tyler, you really want to get home, and I don't know what home is like for you or for Dell. So like maybe we could all have a drink together, and you could. If you could tell me, like, like, tell me about Earth. Sure, yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna know about that stuff, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll tell you. I feel like yeah. if I know about it, then like I'll, I'll be even more excited to help you get there. Yeah, yeah, and and I pull out my phone and I'm like, I have some pictures, you know, from the road and uh, some of the stuff we've done. That's a really good point. Yeah, anything that's not there, you could probably draw up pretty fast too. I'll, hang on, let me see if I can help. And I think about my spells. And I can't. <laughs> uh, if if you have two people in mind, I could use disguise self to look like them. And if at any point we're talking about Earth and you want to describe a person from Earth, I can use disguise self to look like that. Yeah. But that's all I can do to help. <laughs> well, I mean, but you're also really good at, you know, telling stories. So why don't you talk yeah, about... Yeah, I was going to say, right now, I, I think you're trying to think of like like this world's version of helping, but... I guess I like, am, yeah. On your world, you you told stories for a living, so maybe maybe just use your skills. I want to hear about it from Tyler. Yeah. I mean, the stories we told, we uh, had stories like too many prime ministers and... Yeah, what's a prime minister? Do you know what? Why don't loopy, you just paint a picture for me? Loopy. Could you tell me the story of too many prime ministers? Yeah, okay, so I forget how the sketch begins, but basically we have a guy who, like, becomes prime minister, but the the other prime minister, like, hasn't... And you all (laughs) sit down for a brief moment, teaching Rumpel Foreskin about sketch comedy at (laughs) Earth. 
<laughs> and Tyler, you see Dell get as excited about this story as most people do getting to introduce somebody to comedy that you also get to blame on other people who aren't present for the parts that don't work. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> here, and that's a relief undoubtedly for Dell. But for you, Tyler, you realize Dell is still excited about the stories from Earth. Dell is happy to delve into this past with you, and Rumpel is happy to, to listen. And New Rogue is praying. You are praying to find a way to strengthen and help your friends to take this next step, to be as helpful as you can be and to save as many lives as possible. And Shadow Nemesis, you are, despite your your voluminous faults, you have scouted something out and are going back to your friends to make a report because ultimately you know that they are going to be slightly less jerky to you than a stranger. (laughs) And if that isn't, the thought at the core of wet change. I don't know what is. <laughs> and that's the end of our episode. <laughs> that's the end of this episode, listener. But next week, you could become a watcher and affect the Jester's adventures by joining our Twitch stream, which happens every Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's Toronto time. If you join our Twitch chat, you can give the cast magical items, name NPCs, and decide the events that shape Ravenloft. So catch up on the story, follow Dum Dum Dice on Twitch, and join our weekly stream right away. Jesters of Ravenloft features the voices of players Tyler Hewitt, Del Borovic, Guy Bradford, and Adam McNamara, alongside Dungeon Master Ryan LaPlante. This episode was edited and mixed by Laura Hamstra, and Jesters of Ravenloft's artwork was created by Del Borovic at delborovic.com. That's D-E-L-B-O-R-O-V-I-C. Our theme song is Dark Mysterious Halloween Night by Sound Gallery by Dimitri Taras, and our ad breaks use the tracks No Control and Cheaps by Jazzar, J-A-H-Z-Z-A-R, whose music is available at freemusicarchive.org. For all things Dum Dums and Dice, including merchandise and how to join our Patreon, you can visit dumdumdice.com or find us on social media at dumdumdice. That's D-U-M-B, D-U-M-B, D-I-C-E. Now get out of here before the mist gets you too. Dum Dums and Dice has to give a special thank you to the supreme beings of our Patreon at this time. Christopher Little, George Dolby, Richard Cranium, Gavin and Abby McDonald, Logan, Fire Unfriendly, Grandma Likes D&D, Alan, Stabby Stranger, Glitch Trick, Flynn1138, Alorain Okapi, Schrodinger's Pepper, Madre de Gatos, Lady Maiden, Garbo Ape, Locke, Sam Schaefer, Waffle Marie, Dagger Rain, Rob L, Dia De Los Hoodless, Squishy Werewolf, Remy Funky Head, Accent Therapeutic Services in Florence, Kentucky, Lael, Shulzari, The Long Family, Jordan Oliver, Richard Wright, Brittany Fenwick, Alex Parr, Old Man Mojo, Dragonfly, The Body Barrelers, Megan Werner, A Man Out of Time, Curtis at FingertechRobotics.com, Panda24NN, Shendra D, Your Homeboy Bones, The Gata Family, Ellis Hatch, Odigenous, Dan the Welsh Man, Afflicto Gaming, Aiden, Beef Not Cheese, and Jill and Noel Laplante. If you want your name to be added to this list, you can join our Patreon too at patreon.com slash dumdumdice. Thanks to them, and a little bit of thanks to you. <laughs>